Hey guys! Um, so apparently I started reading Harry Potter totally forgetting that I needed to do a selection review. So I got some time so I'm just going to do that really quick. Um, so if you guys have not read the selection, oops, here's, I don't have the physical books with me because I rent, got them rented. I checked them out from the library because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them and you know. Okay, so here's the first book. The Selection by Karina Karana Cass. K Cass. That's there we go. Okay, so uh, let's do non-spoiler. Um, I'll do this one, and then I'll do a spoiler part, and then I'll go on to the elite, and then I'll do a spoiler part, and then or non-spoiler, then spoiler part, and then so. It'll be okay. Okay, so basically what the selection is about, it kind of has a Hunger Games feel to it because there's districts. They're not necessarily fighting, but there's a lot of issues within these districts or states as they call them. Um, I was really confused because I couldn't understand how, like, the world fit together. I really like maps. Um, so hold on. I actually checked out Happily Ever After because of this reason. I was hoping it'd have a map. Um, so I'll show you the map in a second. But there's 35 different states. Um, and within the states, like, what they did is they chose 35 girls. So there's 35 different states to compete for the prince's hand and marriage. They did this so, you know, dystopia. Totally. To keep all of the lower caste systems to not uprise. So they took a different approach than Hunger Games. They didn't kill them off. They, you know, competed for love. Which, it's, it's basically like Hunger Games meets The Bachelor. All the drama's there. Um, so that is what the selection about is about um, it's focused around America she gets chosen to compete for the prince's hand and then the first book talks about her first her experience there and the girls and everything so let me show you a map because that's it's it's not spoiler it it's really not okay so here is the map Focus. Focus on the man. Damn it. Will it not work? Can I? <gasps> there. Okay. So here's the map. Let me just get it to focus again. Come on. See, if I had the physical book, this would be easier. Oh, okay, I see what it's doing. Okay, hold on. Let it let it focus again. Um I I want to show this before I go to the spoiler part. Come on. Okay. Over here where the castle is is Angelus. That's where the or where the castle is on the I guess it'd be your right. Where the castle, that's where Maxon lives. And over here where Carolina, where North Carolina and South Carolina would be, is where America's from. There's 35 different district types, and that's where they pull from who gets to be in the selection. Um, this map is not in any of the physical books it is in. Happily Ever After. Hold on. Happily Ever After, which is basically just a bind-up of all the novellas for the series. Okay, so the next part will start the spoiler for the selection, so go away. Okay, so now if you've read the selection, you know how I feel. I really do not like Aspen. Straight up, I didn't like him in the beginning. I don't like him. Throughout the whole book of the selection, I don't like that he came back. I think that was just 
It was so unnecessary. Like, you don't need to add to this girl's drama. And there was just... There was so much drama. Um... I... I like Maxton. But at the same time, I think America could have just, like, not dealt with either. Um... I felt like the selection could have gone a totally different way, but instead it it didn't feel dystopia for me. It didn't really feel fantasy for me. It it felt like I was reading chick lit and I'm not big on chick lit because there's just so much drama in this book. Um I feel like they could have taken, like, even in the first book, they could have gone more into detail about, like, like, the northern and southern invaders. Like, that would have been cool. That would have made it more dystopian and fantasy. But this was seriously just about girl drama, and I'm... I don't know. Um, at the end of this book, I was really sitting there and I was like, do I want to read the Elite? Uh, hmm, hmm, I really didn't want to. But I already checked out the Elite and I was like, you know what, I'll just give it a quick read because they were really fast reads and it was more because I wasn't in love with the book. Um, and I know a lot of people are, and that's, that's great. It does have a good storyline if you like that type of storyline. Where I grew up on epic fantasy, this just, it, it didn't have my heart and soul, guys. Um, it is a good book, though, and I would suggest it to people who like that type of book. People who probably watch The Bachelor a lot would love this book. Um... I don't know if I'd suggest it to people who love the Hunger Games. I mean, if you want, like, a little less violent Hunger Games, like, a lot less violent, no violence, Hunger Games, there's the selection for you. Um, I actually have a friend who is doing a read-through through the selection if you haven't had a chance to read it and you, I don't want to, you know, buy a book that you're not sure you want to read, um, I'm going to link her channel down below. Uh, so you guys can totally listen. I think she just got to chapter six, or she just read chapter six. She's doing it chapter by chapter. Um, she has a really good channel, too. You guys should actually, oh, she, well, she's, she's reading the selection. I'm gonna link her channel down below, just so you guys, if you want to, like, slowly start getting into the selection. It's a perfect way to do it. Uh, okay, so... That was the, you know, my review for the selection. I'm, I'm, I feel really bad that I didn't like it because I really wanted to like it because all I hear is people, oh, I love the selection. You got to read the selection. And it just, it turned out not to be my type of book. Um, it happens doesn't happen very often with me. Most of the time I always love the books I read. But sorry America, girl, you got you got too many boy troubles and I don't want to read about it. I I want to know what happens with other stuff. So Okay, hey guys. Uh why am I saying hey guys? This is the middle part of the video. Okay. So the next book in the selection series is The Elite. Now, America's done it. She's made it to The Elite, which means there are six remaining uh, um, contestants for Maxton's Heart. Um, Aspen's back in her... Well, if, yeah, I can say that. Aspen's back in her life. He's working there at the castle. America's everywhere. Um, America now has to put up with, hold on, I gotta, I gotta remember all the names. I, 
I swear I just read this, but Chris has to deal with Chris having a really strong influence over Maxton now. Uh, there's more heating up within the Rebels. So she has to deal with that, too. Uh, oh, that's my review. Hold on. Okay, so that's what's going on in the Elite, without spoilers. Um, there. Okay, now let's get real about the Elite. What the heck? Okay, there was so much drama. I'm actually gonna like... Okay, so I left a review on Goodreads, and I'm just gonna say it. So, obviously, my opinion is really unpopular that I just, I did not like the Elite. I didn't like it. I felt like the triangle of Maxton, America, and Aspen was totally unnecessary. She already has her main point of the book, which is hey, there's one guy competing for, like, all the girls, or the girls are competing for him. They're, they're, it is so unnecessary to throw in another love triangle. Like, a love triangle. It's so unnecessary. Like, is it just me, or are you, like, I am so sick of young adult books having love triangles. You don't need it. In real life, there's not, like, 40 million girls out there going, Oh my god, I'm in love with two guys. L no. Re like, <clears throat> I was so upset about that. Because she... It's like... <sighs> it, it was just so unnecessary for me. And it really... Like, with the Elite, I didn't want to read the one. I was like, no. It's, no. I don't want to read more about an unnecessarily love tri unnecessary love triangle that doesn't need to be there. I want to know more about what's happening with the Rebels. I don't, I don't care. It, like, it got to the point where I was only reading the book because I want to know what happens with the Rebel. I, I want to know what the hell, heck the dystopian theme was. Where was it? Not an elite. That's for dang sure. Um, okay. I, I pretty much just, you know, ranted on what was on my review. Um. Yep. Uh, I don't, the characters are just, they're not developed for me. Um, at all. I, I don't feel connected to them. I don't care what happens to them at all. And it kind of really sucked because I was really excited to start this series because everyone loves it. But why? Let, okay, let's just move on to the one which I actually, I did read. I don't know why. Um, but I read the one, so let's talk about that, shall we? The one. Ah, where is it? Maybe I need to turn down my brightness a little. There we go. The one. Okay. Bye, Karina. Cass, Karina, maybe? Maybe. Um, okay, so last four uh, people, girls, girls in the selection. Um, this all goes down to who will be the last one surviving. Who gets the last rose? Where is America in this mess? Where is Maxton? What is Aspen doing? What are the girls doing? There's Celeste, Chris, Elise, and America left. Pretty, yes. This this is who's left. All right, guys. 
let's talk about the last book in the main part of the selection series. Okay, so here's the dystopian element, finally. We know what the rebels want. They, we, they, they want to basically get rid of the caste system, which is what America wants, which is what Maxton wants, and it's good. I'm not sure, it, like, the ending was kind of like, oh, let's just kill everyone. Okay. Cool. What? Um, I'm kind of actually sad that Celeste died. I liked her. She was cool. Um, it really, it really sucked. Um, I might buy the book simply because of the last one. I really liked it. Um... I read these all within a day, pretty much. Like, the selection I read in a day or two. The Elite, I read in two days, and then... Maybe two days. I read them in two days. And then the one I stayed up and read in one day. Um, I'm kind of happy that Aspen found happiness in the end. I really hate that America's dad died. I loved him. But I can see where it's necessary. Like, she needed to understand why she was named and... You know, that that her family's a rebel. Or her dad. Her dad was a rebel. Supporter. Rebel supporter. Um. I don't like how Maxton, like, swip swap. Flip flapped. Flip flopped. Whatever. At the end so quick. Like, oh, you're touching someone. Like, give her a chance to explain. Like, damn. And he was just like, nope. Cut it off. <laughs> Bro, chill. Um, I don't know if I'll read the next two, which deals with America and Maxon's child. I don't know. I kind of like them together now that they aren't wishy-washy, I guess. And there's no love triangle and there's no unnecessary drama. And, um, I might read the next one, next two. Um, I, de I read the novellas, and I, I really like the novellas. Those are all bound up in Happily Ever After. Those were really good, and it made me like, okay, maybe maybe she's getting better on her writing as she goes through these books. I'm still, I'm still unsure. Um, all right. Okay, so I'm going to link my friend's channel down below who's reading the selection. Um, leave comments. Did you like the selection? I'm, I'm not opposed to hearing other people's sides. I, I want to like it. I just... Oh. <coughs> so sorry. Um, I want to like it. Like, I really want to like it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, leave comments down below. Leave a like on my video if you want me to do more rants, apparently. <laughs> I feel like this whole video is just a rant. I'm so sorry. Um, leave a like. Sub. I'm definitely going to be doing more reviews, more positive reviews. This was a up-in-the-air <laughs> review. Um, check out other videos on my channel. Feel free to follow me down on on around on social media. I'll leave that stuff down in the description. Um, I'll definitely leave links for all these books on Goodreads. Um, let me know. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye.